Hi, we're here in Glasgow for ESHD 2015, and we're going to talk to Mike Lullavelt about the newest advancements coming out of the Sanger sequencing platforms, in particular the 3500. Mike, great presentation on the new applications coming out of our Sanger platforms. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about them? Yeah, thanks, Gretchen. So we've uh, we continue to make enhancements in Sanger. It's it's certainly a, even if it's a mature technology, it's a place we we continue to invest in heavily. Something we've recently built is a next gen confirmation tool. So uh, obviously, next gen is 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 a larger technology. It's often wider and give you greater throughput. Sometimes though, you can miss things. You can have gaps in coverage, or you can have problems with variants, and you're not quite sure if they're right. So what we've done is we built a whole system to both find a primer for the for the variant that you have and uh, analyze it together with your next gen data. So if you have holes or questions in any VCF file, you're able to uh, confirm it with a Sanger primer and then analyze them together and make sure that you know the answer of, uh, of whether that uh, NGS result was actually uh, correct or not. Great, so you can confirm the, your NGS data using the Sanger platforms. That's that's amazing. That's, that's exactly yeah, that's, what, we're, that's what we're doing. That's great. To um, another thing I heard you mention was something about um, finding variants. Can you tell me a little more? Yeah. So, so traditionally, uh, Sanger technology has been great at germline studies when you have you know 50 percent of each of the allele. When uh, you're doing tumor samples, of course, sometimes you may have a very low tumor cellularity. There might not be a lot of that tumor, um, and Sanger hasn't excelled at that. But what we've recently introduced is we're in a beta program for minor variant finding. It's a new software tool that will kind of subtract the background away from a normal sample and allow you to find a minor variant as low as 5%, right? So there's lots of interest in liquid biopsy and cancer trying to find these low-level variants. We've got a new tool that allows Sanger to go down to 5% detection. Great. Absolutely. Now, one more, too. Oh. Okay, great. There's a third thing that we talked about. We've made some enhancements uh, in our data collection software. This is on our 3500 sequencer. So now we're up to data collection 3.1. It does three major things. Um, well, really, it's all about flexibility, right? It, now the pouches that you have, um, as the pouch gets uh, for the reagents, as the reagent gets down, before you would have what we call a hard stop. And now what we're trying to do is we just warn you. And if you were in a lab and you want to use that last little bit of the pouch, go ahead and use it. We We've also, there's some of our reagents that uh, are, um, are a little bit more labile, and for lower throughput labs, we've now put some of our polymers in lower reaction volumes so that they don't have to waste as much reagents, right? Again, this is giving them more control. Uh, and then the last thing is we've taken our 3500 and it now allow it to run our shorter 36 centimeter um, uh, tubes instead of the longer 50 mole tubes. So again, flexibility, choice, control, it really takes the same great re the same great system that you have, load some new software on there, and open up a whole new set of capabilities. Great. Thank you so much, Mike, for Absolutely. letting us know about all these new things. Thanks, Gretchen.